Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of What Did I Just Watch? I am your host, Michael G. Graziusa. On today's episode, we're going way back to 1978 with Superman the movie. Nowadays, it seems like a superhero movie is coming out every week. But Superman was the first to show studios that you could take a comic book character and turn it into a live action film. The story borrows from old age tales from biblical and Greek mythology. Superman the movie is about a child from a dying world who is placed in a spaceship and sent to Earth before his planet is destroyed. Kinda like Moses being sent down the river to avoid being killed by the Pharaoh's orders to exterminate all the firstborn sons. When Superman arrives on Earth, it's clear that he has special abilities. He is taken in by the Kents, who show him how to use his powers for good. As he grows up to be a man, a Superman, a modern-day Hercules, he must find his place in the world with a dual identity, one as a mild-mannered reporter and one as Superman. Mankind's Savior. Superman the movie stars Christopher Reeves as the definitive Superman. I believe in my lifetime there's not someone that could take on this role as good as the late, great Christopher Reeves. He played the role to perfection, not only as Superman, but as his alter ego, Clark Kent. Another great actor and great performance was Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor! Greatest criminal mind of our time. Although Kevin Spacey nailed his performance in later films, Gene Hackman will always be the best Lex Luthor. Wrong! I'm sorry, but it's true. Let's talk visual effects. The tagline on this film is, you'll believe a man can fly, and I believe the filmmakers delivered on that promise. It's amazing that the effects of this film still stand today as epic. Now, I'm not going to be a total fanboy here. This film does have its flaws, such as the editing. I feel the first hour of the film was dragged out with scenes of Krypton and Smallville. The film doesn't actually get started until he gets to Metropolis. I feel that this film should have been cut non-linear, where they should have started with Metropolis from the middle and cut back to reveal the backstory as the plot was developing. And not all the acting was good. Margot Kidder had her good moments and also had her bad ones. Overall, this is a blueprint of what a Superman movie should be. To this day, still the hairs on the back of my neck stand up when I hear that score. When I leave a Superman film, I want to be inspired to go to the gym, help an old lady cross the street, or save a cat from a tree, not slip my wrist. Yeah! Exactly. So if you haven't seen this film yet, you owe it to yourself to see this classic masterpiece. But what do I know? I'm just a filmmaker. Good night, everybody.